Earl Dean, we got a great interview with us today. Yes. Who do we have with us today, brother? We have another banger. Yes. We've been blessed to have so boom, boom. many great, great, great yes. um, ministries and um, people that are doing great things in the world, period. Great things. And this young man yes, yes. is no different than those. No different. He uh, comes from a singing family. Yes, he does. A church family. Yes. A great a grandmother ha -ha. who used to sing for the Bishop Mason, the founder of Church of God in Christ. Hallelujah. His name is Mr. Melvin Sanders. Good morning, Mr. Melvin Sanders. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the Wake Up Morning Show with Dr. LT and Robert Earl Dean. Praise God. I'm so glad to be on with you guys this morning, man. I've been listening to y'all, and boy, you guys have been doing it, doing it, doing it. Well, I, I want to start off by just saying to you, uh, Dr. Sanders, that we got Dr. Baltrip that just popped on in here today right. and blessed us with an award. <laughs> but he, he just wanted to say something to you before we get into it. Uh, uh, Dr. Baltrip, hop on to the mic. Quiet hey, Mr. Melvin, my friend, <laughs> my <laughs> brother, my mentor. Wow, this is a surprise. Yes. Man, not just <laughs> to hear your voice, but to see your face. Man, I need a song. I'm just going to tell you right now, I need a song. Um, and okay. So we'll figure it out at some point. <laughs> but I love you. And I thank you for always keeping me encouraged yes. down through the years. Oh, I thank you for Praise always God. presenting great ministry. Yes. It's got me through many a days. I never have forgot you and what you've spoken to me and what you've done for me over the years. Praise I love God. you, man, from the heart to the heart. Man, I love you too, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's so encouraging. You know, you don't, you never know who you touch, and uh, it, it's just an honor to uh, to know that we've been, you know, an encouragement to you. And man, I've always loved your ministry as well. I tell you, my brothers, my nieces, my sisters. That's right. I've been yeah. in that choir and have sung with you guys, and it's just been amazing. So I thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Well, 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 well uh, Dr. Sanders, I want to say first and foremost, uh, thank you for always representing um, our city yes, and everything right. that you, you do. Mm -hmm. um, your, your reputation precedes you. And um, I always laugh because my, my co-host, um, like I said, there's some people that he say is his brother and his sister. <laughs> but when it comes to you, he is so possessive. <laughs> Over the relationship, <laughs> and, so and, and, and I'll be like sitting up there, like, don't, don't look, I'll be, I'll be like, I like Dr. Dr. Sanders. Uh, we yeah. know Dr. Sanders too. Oh, we right. can talk to him. He like, right. but that's my cousin. I'm like, hold on. Right. Right. But Robert, <laughs> Odin, I want to turn this over to you, and I really want you to get into the yes. the deepness of it all. Yes, we, we're just so oh, honored right. to have see you have this young man. Um, I've known him all my life. I'm, I'm 51 years old, and I've known him every day of my life. Um. My, my dad yes. Um, yes. helped raise him. Um, and so Melvin has always been a mentor to me as well. So I, I'm just thankful to have him Thanks, today. Sir. Now, my first question to you is, how was it growing up in a family with so much music? Well, <clears throat> all the way to, if I go all the way back to, to, to age five is when I started, mm -hmm. uh, when I started playing piano my uh, my oldest brother is my mentor, Larry. Yes. And Larry started me out playing uh, when we lived in Phoenix. I was born in Gilbert, Arizona. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he started me out on an old raggedy piano that every other note uh, worked. Right. <laughs> right. And so I uh, started there and man, God, just from there, it just began to just really touch my life. And, you know, mom, had 13 of us, nine boys and four girls. Yes. And she would drag us all to church, you know. And uh, as God began to develop me and as the Spirit of the Lord began to just really get inside of me as a child, mm -hmm. not as an adult, but as a child, mm -hmm. uh, God began to touch my life. And uh, uh, my brothers and sisters was all singers. I wasn't at that time, you know. I, uh, I guess I didn't start singing until I was about maybe about 14. I didn't think I was a singer. I didn't think I could sing. I, I left that to, to Dennis and, and Larry and Shay and all of them. Right. Uh, but, uh, but man, you know, growing up around all of the, uh, all of the talent that God has given us has just been an encouragement and it has been a blessing. It has been a blessing just to be a part, you know, of, of the gifts 
that God has given us, you know. So growing up around that man has just been so, so tremendous, so tremendous, man. I just love it. I love it. I thank God for it every single day, uh, you know, that, that that he's allowed me to be a part of that and to be a part of, of that family, man. This is it, it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. So you, you didn't have any formal training for playing or anything? No, sir. I never had any uh, formal training. You know, like I said, Mama had 13 of us, didn't have the money to send me to, uh, you know, give me piano lessons. Right. Larry taught me and beat beat the devil out of my fingers right. when I hit a bad note. Right. And, <laughs> and so right. that was the, that was the, that was the only you know training that I had. Uh, so I didn't you know we didn't have no. Uh, I, I don't read music. Everything I do is is strictly by ear. Uh, I'm trying to catch on to that stuff that they do now, where they go three, two, four, right. five. Right. And, you know, but no, I've never had any training, man. I just, the way everything I do is strictly, strictly by ear. So let me ask you this question. Um, you've had a stellar career in the music industry. Uh, mm -hmm. What would be some of the advice that you would give to an up and coming artist? Because this is Independent Gospel Music Matters Friday. What would you give to yeah. the up and coming independents? First of all and foremost, <clears throat> Uh, a relationship with Jesus, man. A relationship, a relationship with Jesus. Because I think, I think for a long time we have forgotten what 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 the gifts were really given to us for. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've 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 taken them and we've. Uh, I want. I don't want to use the word, but I'm gonna use it. <laughs> we've taken the gifts that God has given us and we've prostituted. Yep, mm -hmm. you know. It's true. And uh, 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 and we for, we we have forgotten the reason, the purpose for what God has given us our gifts for, and they are to glorify Him. Yes, they are to exalt Him. They are to magnify Him. And through the gifts that God has given us, we touch lives, and we touch lives in a way that secular music don't and can't. Right, because it's the anointing and it's the spirit. It's the spirit. It's the presence of God that actually changes. The Bible says the anointing breaks the yoke. Yeah, and so. Uh, the, my advice to, to, to up and coming artists is that make sure that you have a relationship with Jesus Christ and make sure you understand the purpose and the reason for the gift that God has given you and that you have to always keep him first. You always have, you, you have to always make sure you give back to the, back to the giver, back to the giver. And so that's, that, that, that would be the advice, you know, that I would give uh, to an up and coming artist that you make sure that your relationship with the Lord is, is solid. And if you do that, God will take you places that you never think you'd ever go. God will take you there. I'm, I'm a witness of that. And that's, that's very important. And um, what I like about you is that you've served in uh, ministry everywhere you've been from your early days of St. Stephen's and other places you yeah. served. And let's talk about yeah. serving because so many artists today, um, they don't want to serve, but they want to be um out there and they want to be praised and they want the glam but they don't realize mm -hmm. that it starts with your foundation in your own personal church yes yes you know the bible says that the greatest in the kingdom will be the least and the least is the servant uh when you look at servanthood it's it's not it's not glamorous because you you get to you know you get to do the job that a lot of people don't want to do and uh, I call us sanctified waitresses and waiters mm -hmm. uh, that God have called. Uh, Jesus said, you know, I, I didn't come to be served, but I came to serve. And so we, we have to keep that in mind that, uh, that, that, that our ministry, our gift, every last one of us that have came to Christ, every last one of, the, um, one of us that have said yes to God, have said yes to servanthood, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I, uh, through the years, I'm 63. Earl, you, 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 you 51. I'm, I'm 63. Right. And, 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 and I don't know how old the doc is, uh, the <laughs> bishop is, but, right. <laughs> but, 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 you yeah. know, we've been around and, and we've seen a lot of things, you know, and one of the things that hurt me so hard, so, so much about some of the artists is that if they don't get paid, they don't minister. And I just, I can't grab a hold of that. And I understand business, but I understand more uh, uh, that, that that is more about ministry. So you never know who's at a concert that is there saying, 
if I don't get anything tonight, I'm going to end it all. I'm going to commit suicide. I'm, I'm throwing in the towel. I'm quitting. I'm never trying again. If I don't get nothing from God tonight, you know, and because of artists, and that's one thing I love about John P. Key, man. You know, uh, I, I saw him on the interview the other the other day, man. I mean, it was incredible. That interview was incredible. And 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 and, and John, you know, and th there were times that he had those issues, you yeah. know, where you know he wouldn't get paid, but yeah. the man stepped out on the stage and said, you know what? At the end of the day, it's about ministry. Yeah. It's about servanthood. It's about serving. You know, and so, uh, uh, so yeah, man, it's 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 incredible. You know, uh, servanthood. It's it seems like it's the least, and in, 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 in our eyes, it is, but in God's eyes, it's the greatest. Well, let me ask you this: You have written some of uh, anthems, songs that have literally uh, been the uh, the music of so many generations. If you were to pick your top three songs, what would they be? Oh my God, <laughs> man! I'm still writing. God is really—I mean, it's some stuff that God's given me that that that, that that's that, that's mind blowing. Uh, but my 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 three would be—it's uh, possible. That's my song. Uh, hmm. Serve you Lord have mercy. So many. That's a that's that's a hard question uh, to answer. <laughs> uh, oh Lord, Lord. Uh, that I, uh, let me see, Serve You Well. Yes. <clears throat> there is a song out on my latest uh, album uh, called Heart Healer. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, so my those God. Are, those are the three. Those are the three I'm going to give you. Now, of, you know, the three songs that you've written, now you've worked with a lot of artists. Who, who, yes. who would be, who are the artists? I'm going to ask this the right way. Who are the artists that were the most memorable to you in working with their projects? Andre Crouch. Okay. Okay. Andre Crouch. He was, he was, Andre man was, was a dear brother. He was a dear brother and he was a dear friend. Uh, and I worked on, uh, worked, uh, one of his albums. Uh, and then I, uh, also did some things, uh, in the, uh, in the industry as far as, uh, we was on General Hospital and mm -hmm. and uh, worked with him on some other stuff and along with you know several other artists, but uh, Andre Crouch, Andre Crouch, man, phenomenal, phenomenal uh, gift, phenomenal ministry. Uh, he would be definitely, definitely one, the one. Let's let's talk about your godmother, Danny Bell Hall. She is a legend. Danny. I was listening to her last night. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, Danny Bell, well, you know, she come out of that Andre Crouch thing too. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, she she you know she came up under that up under that anointing. Uh, but Danny Bell, man, Danny Bell was just incredible, man. When I first when I first met Danny Bell, um, I was in I lived in San Diego at that time. That was before I moved to Pasadena, mm -hmm. and Danny Bell was doing a concert uh, over off of uh, oh man. At that, at that, uh, I think, and I think Shirley Gary was the one that had her, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, but she was doing a concert. I can't remember the, the exact the, the name of that the, the the hall or the school it was, auditorium it was. But uh, she was doing. Uh, she she sung "I Go to the Rock." Jesus. And that was the first time uh, I met and played uh, and played for her. Yes. And from that night on you know she claimed me uh, as her godson and uh, i've played with her on some other things and uh and i've even sung uh, sung with some concerts with her uh and I, I opened up one concert for her and so yeah so so danny bell man she was incredible man danny bell was oh my god incredible danny bell was oh she was she she kind of reminds me uh kind of reminded me of uh roberta flack Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You know, she had that kind of demeanor, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But gospel. Right. You know, but gospel. And, uh, uh, man, she's always been, she had always been an encouragement, man, uh, before she passed away. And had some, I mean, had some, you know, I, I seen her when, after she had had one of her legs uh, amputated. And, uh, man, she, her spirit, her, her spirit was so, 
was so was, was so energized, man. I mean, she didn't she she didn't change. Wow. She didn't change. You know, uh, you know, in regards to what she went through, she was somewhat like a job, you know, uh, but but a female job. Right. <laughs> she, you know, she went through, but her spirit, man, and her soul, her heart, you know, her 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 relationship with God. Yes. Never it never wavered. It never changed, man. When she sung, you know, man, she sung like it was like 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 it was her last time. I wow. mean, just like here, God, here, here it is, everything I got, you know. So uh, one of the things that I want to ask you is, you know, I've been working on my music career uh, uh, now uh, uh, for 25 years. How would um, I be able to uh, connect with you uh, and see, Rob, Robert needs, I want you to pray for Robert because he don't know where I'm going with this. Okay, I'm listening. Yeah, because he, he about ready to criticize I'm me. I'm not saying nothing. You know, so, but I just want to let you know, um, if I had a song or an artist that um, I know that you have the anointing to write for, uh, what would be the first steps to, to be able to get a uh, 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 Melvin uh, 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 Sanders original? You got me first right step. Now. First step. What would be the first step? Well, contacting me for one, uh -huh. uh, and then um, just kind of getting an idea of how that person's ministry flow, mm -hmm. uh, where the, what direction they're trying to go in. Uh, when I write, I. Mm, how can I say it? I write as God gives me. Mm -hmm. uh, every song is not for everybody. Right. You know, uh, every song don't fit everybody's voice. Um, I have I have a song that I wrote uh, entitled uh, I Can't Wait to See You. Mm -hmm. And uh, a song like that, for example, I wouldn't just throw it at anybody. Mm hmm it would have to be someone that that really, oh man, somebody like an Andre, somebody, you know, that 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 that, that really sings from their heart. Mm -hmm. You know, you got some people that just sing. Right. They yeah. they just sing because they have that ability. They can just, you know, they can just go. But then you have some people that even that don't even have, I would say, great voices. Yes. But that heart thing, my cousin was like that, Linda DeCure. Yes, sir. Linda didn't have an awesome voice. She didn't, she wasn't able to do all those right, stuff. Right. But man, when she sung, she could sing, she could sing, Oh, how I love Jesus. Come on. And man, you talking about an anointing. You're talking about, you know, it coming from down on the inside. Yes. You know. So I would, you know, I would, I would, I, I would need to know, you know, just, just, you know, a little bit about you, so I'll know exactly where you're coming from and mm -hmm. what it is that you're looking for, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and 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 pretty much everything that God's given me has has touched somebody, I believe, mm -hmm. I believe. Uh, so that that that's 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 why that you know I would go there, you know, uh, you know, talk with them and just kind of. You know, see where where the heart is. You know, and uh, and and just kind of go from there. Uh, you know, and try to try to walk. You know, try to walk with them there. You know, from that point, right? And then take them where it is that they, you know, that they're trying to go. I know everybody's trying to get a hit, right? But I believe a hit is when you touch somebody. Yes. Not when you touch everybody, right? Mm -hmm. But when you touch somebody. Amen. The Bible said, "Heaven rejoices over one soul." Yes. So if if it if it came down to one person hearing a song that God's given me and they give their life to Christ, it's worth more than a thousand people hearing a song and saying they like it. Right. Yeah. If, you, if you understand what I'm saying, yeah. I don't, I'm not. You know, no, no, that's that's know, good. You know, uh, because at the end of the day, that's what we want, right? We want people to hear what God has given us, get it in their heart, get it in their spirit, and somewhere in that song, see that okay. Wait a minute. This is for me, right? Because I've been struggling. This is for me because I've been hurting. This is for me because God has heard my prayer and He has sent an answer Come to on. this particular song that says to me, 
you're going to make it. It says to me, everything, glory to God. I feel you, Lord. I feel your presence. Glory to God. I'm, 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 I don't, I'm not trying to be But that's busy. what gospel music should do. You know. Gospel music is the good news of Jesus Christ, and it was yes. never made to be exploited or anything of that nature. Yes. So the pureness yes. of, of the anointing of the, the words to yes. be effective, that's what mm -hmm. separates our music from the blues. Because we ain't got to exactly. think about a baby loving us mm -hmm. and leaving us. We think about the man that's going to change your life and give you a new life. You're right. You're right. You know, and there, there are those, there are those that, you know, we all have been designated to reach certain people. I believe that. Correct. I, I believe that. I don't believe as great as, and I'll use, for example, T.D. Jakes, as great as T.D. Jakes preach. Yeah. I don't think he's going to reach everybody. No, sir. <laughs> because there are, there are those that the Lord has designated for you to reach, Earl, for you to reach, Bishop, for me to reach. You know, And that's why Jesus sent out disciples. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, he sent out disciples because one disciple couldn't reach the world. He couldn't reach the world. So he, he, so he, 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 he developed and created disciples. He, he made disciples. And then he said, okay, now y'all go into the world and y'all preach the gospel mm -hmm. to every creature. Yeah. And so I believe that, you know, that, 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 that God has certain people. And, and, and I think that's something that we need to pray and ask God yes. uh, concerning too, even, in, even as we're coming up, yes. you know, as, 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 um, as uh, new artists, right. You know, Lord, what direction do you have for me? Come on. Which way is my, is my ministry supposed to go? Right. I, I'm not trying to be like a Kirk Franklin. Right. Kirk Franklin is Kirk Franklin. Yes. I'm not trying to be, I mean, as much as I love Andre Crouch, I'm not trying to be Andre Crouch. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I want to be who you call me to be because who you've called me to be will reach who you designed for me to reach. Yes. But if I try to be somebody else, I won't reach who you, you see what I'm saying? Because you, you won't <laughs> be in order. You won't be lined no, I, up to where God it, it, created exactly. you to be. Exactly. <laughs> now, now and, and you, you've had a chance to write for Nisa Shane, for Beverly Crawford. How does it feel to, to see your music go to those national platforms? Oh, man. Whew. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. Uh, I said, Lord, you know, one, one day I was thinking about it. And, uh, and uh, when Nisa Shane first did, uh, when she did Serve You Well, and she did uh, Mystery. Mystery. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, 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 first of all, I never thought that I never thought about letting anybody else, I'll put it like that, uh, sing my music, uh, because <clears throat> then my thinking was all of my music, all the music I write was written for me to sing. That's, that was my thought. Not, right. not saying nobody was good enough. To right. Do Don't get me wrong. Right. Not right. that. But. <clears throat> when I write, I write based on my heart. You know, uh, I write based on my experiences. But I realize over time that there are those that have had the same experiences I've had. Yes. You know, they've had the same struggles I've had. They've, you know, they went through some of the same storms I've been through. And so in that, <clears throat> With uh, Nisa Shane, uh, you know, singing mystery. You know, it is a mystery. Uh, it's it's it's. It was like it was like wow, man. And and she's a man. She's a fantastic artist. Oh, both. Yes. Oh man, I love I love Nisa Shane, yeah. man. And and she is just. I mean, she's she's incredible. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And so when she did that, so when she did those two songs. And uh, uh, especially, uh, especially uh, serve you well, you know, man. I just, I, I, I was like, okay, Lord, okay, I see what you're doing. Yes, I see what you're doing. So whatever your desire is, whatever your will is for me, God, if I if I am to write for others, if I am to allow others to to record this music, Lord, you know, let your will be done. You know, you open the door, you make the way, and and so uh, <clears throat> so when so when she took on those two songs. I was very anxious to to hear how you know how they came out, and man, when I heard them, I was like, man, yes, she did an awesome, awesome job. I just wish her 
project would have went so much further because it had, oh my God, that, that project was off the chain. Man. Oh my God. And still is, yeah. Yeah. still is, you what, know, still is. One of the things I love about the system now and what has taken place, I call it that there's an opportunity for so many reboots. And um, I've been sharing with people that, you know, before you do a lot of new music, uh, with the mm. platforms that we have today, yes. uh, I'm encouraging people to re-release yes. and, and to do reboots of That's those good. great songs because um, uh, songs take new life uh, with new yes. generations. And songs have different meanings with different generations. And in this season, what might have been an okay song uh, in mm -hmm. 2002 is going to shift lives in 2000. 20 mm -hmm. and and that's the thing that i love about what i call evergreen songs and and the songs that are um that really have the oil on it yeah is that mm -hmm. it will be there in the time of crisis there are certain things like you know uh keith pringle i feel like going on right oh. now yeah. that song right now is right now yes. you know yes. uh, i i literally in uh shout out to keith and to the family i literally almost every day when I come into the station, that is the song that I drive into, and I sing it because yes. it literally helps me to push through because from our vantage point, we see so much, yes. so much pain, mm -hmm. so much hurt, uh, uh, yeah. so much despair. Right and when we yes. come in on yeah. the morning show, we have to prepare ourselves yes. to get ready for this ministry. Tell me this, yeah. Pastor, um, how are you preparing yourself in this season and what are you doing to help the people that are under you during this season we are <clears throat> we're coming into some great things man i mean some doors that are that that are that are opening up for us that's going to catapult our ministry in the area of uh finance in the area of uh, area of opportunity to touch a lot of lives i mean some things are breaking for us and we've, you know, we've stood the test, man. We've, I mean, we've stayed there. I mean, we've stayed before God, you know. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we're, I'm on every, the Lord spoke to me uh, maybe about, maybe about a year, two years ago, mm -hmm. maybe a couple years ago. He said, I want you to go on Facebook. Amen. And, uh, uh, and I want you to, I want you to bring the people into my presence. This is exactly what he said to me. He said, I want mm -hmm. you to go on Facebook and I want you to bring the people into my presence. Uh, Cause I'm a worshiper. I love to worship, man. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I love to worship, mm -hmm. and I love to praise. I love to. I, I love to come before the throne of God. Such an awesome place. And uh, he said, "I want you to bring the people before me. Bring them into my presence, so I can touch them, so I can minister to them." And uh, I kept putting it off. I said, oh, "I'm gonna do it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. Yeah, Lord. Okay, I'll do it." Lord, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do Facebook. I don't know if I won't even have, you know. Right. And then you would, you know, then you hear negative things about Facebook and that. So Lord, I don't even want to think I want to go through that. So when this pandemic came, come on. <laughs> the Lord, I'm sorry. He said, "Amen." Yo, <laughs> when this pandemic came, the Lord said to me, "He said, go on Facebook." And now, mind you, so many times we pray for things, and God answers. But we'd be so, how can I say, sometimes we be, we've, we've already put in our minds how we want God to answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so we miss, we miss the answer. We pray for doors to open and we won't, you know, we, 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 in, our, in our mind, the door is made like this. It's this color. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's this big. And, and and so God opens the door and we say, well, that ain't the door because it's not big. It's not a huge door. And <clears throat> so when the Lord, when the Lord spoke to me to go on Facebook, I had been praying. I said, God, I said, you know, we're not a big ministry. We're not a big church. You know, we're not a big church. I said, we're powerful because of your anointing, because of your presence. I said, and people come from other churches, uh, you know, to, to, to get into your presence. And I said, Lord, I, I, I just, Lord, just, you know, we, we don't have a lot of money, but God opened the door for us to, to go on television. Never thinking, never, never uh, uh, realizing yeah. that television was Facebook for us. Yep. 
<laughs> God said, I'm going to send you all around the world. And <clears throat> maybe all around the world is not me getting on a plane mm -hmm. and flying. Right. right. Maybe all around the world is just me getting on Facebook, mm -hmm. ministering to people in India mm -hmm. that have contacted us, people in Africa mm -hmm. that has contacted us, people in, 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 uh, there was somebody the other day and I can't hardly say the word, uh, it, uh, Nick, Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Nicaragua, yeah. Yes. They contacted me the other day, you know, uh, through Facebook saying that they had been on, that they come on, uh, uh people over in Tahiti, you know, uh, all these other areas that have come on Facebook and God has blessed us to, to, I think we're now up to 1900 views. Wow. Uh, you know, uh, and, and they come on and <clears throat> we take them to the presence of God, man. It's not about me. Never have been. Mm -hmm. I will never ever in my life tell you that it's me because it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not. I'm just a vessel. I'm just who God uses. Yeah. And, 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 and so God has allowed us, man, to just, you know, to just take people to the throne. Mm -hmm. So we, we were on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday nights at seven Bible study. We worship before we do Bible study, come on Thursday night at seven and just do straight praise and worship. We don't, we don't preach. We just do worship. We just get people there. Then we come on Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock and God has, has, has opened <clears throat> so many areas for us, uh, just just uh, going on Facebook, man. So, I mean, the the, the preparation, the things that God is doing, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I'm I'm still praying about it. But God, you know, they they, they asked me to be a to be a bishop, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> ah, Lord Jesus, mm. I'm still praying though. I'm right. <laughs> I'm still in God's face right. about it. But so but it's 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 going to put me in some areas that. Uh, that's going to really catapult the ministry, not yeah. to build me, but to build the kingdom. Right. So I want to make sure, you know, uh, every now and then I have a beef against some of our interviews. Oh, and Lord. I, I, I want to I <laughs> tell, tell you about my beef uh, 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 with you. What is it? Um, I've been I've been preaching since I've been 19 years old. And I've always desired to have a certain uh, volume or, or huskiness in my voice. And I always wanted to be a singing preacher, because when you was a okay. singing preacher, you know, it, it, it get, you, you, you didn't have to ask nobody to do a sermonic solo. You could just you usher them on in, you know. <laughs> and so my beef with you is, how in the world did you get the trifecta of ministry to be able to play Sing and reach and write, you know, and write and all the other stuff. I'm like sitting up there, Lord Jesus, that's not fair. You gave them all. Can I just have one of them uh, or two more of them? A <laughs> shop, Lord. But no, how is it when you know, uh, when you got to go before the throne of God and, and and preach the word, and then God gives you a song that you've never sung before and says, Give it to the people right now before you preach? Wow, man. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, I've had some experiences, man. I listen, that I've had some experiences, man, where I, where we're in, you know, we're 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 in service, we're in worship, and God would just drop a song in my spirit, and and you know, you know, we're maybe, you know, maybe we're singing, uh, 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 for example, maybe we're singing, you know, Lord, I lift your name on high. And all of a sudden, man, the Lord will just, it's like the Holy Spirit will say, okay, okay, shut shut down right here mm -hmm. and start saying this. And songs, as a matter of fact, my wife was preaching one Sunday. <clears throat> she was preaching one Sunday and she was, uh, she was ministering uh, about getting lost in the Lord. She was saying to the people, you know, that we need to really get to a place in God where we don't allow people and we don't allow things to to interfere uh, with our relationship with God. You know, because so many times we allow people and we allow things to get in the way. I ain't never going to church again because such, uh, you know, Sister, Sister Black Eyed Peas, right. you know, she stepped on my shoes, right. you know, you know what I'm saying? And she was just, you know, just just ministering, you know, about getting in 
uh, just getting in and having a relationship with God yes. that is so tight, that is so close that the enemy don't have no space, no crack to get in. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, he'll take, you know, he, anything he can get, he Come like on. water. Come on. If, if, if it's a small crack, mm -hmm. he'll see through that crack. Yes, so we right. have to sew up our relationship to a point where mm -hmm. we don't have no space for the enemy. Come you on. know, the Bible says give no place to the devil. And so we have to make sure. And she was ministering. And by the time she got to the end of that message, God had given me a complete song that says, I want to get lost in you. Mm. That's what I want to do. I want to get lost in you. My life made whole and brand new. I want to get lost in you. God, I give my will to you. Lord, if you give me the strength, if you give me the power, I want to get lost in you. Mm. And it's and 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 I I began to sing that song for the altar at the at the altar. People began to come to the altar. Yes. <clears throat> and the only and the words that came to me was, I want to get lost in you. That's what I want to do. I want to get lost in you. Come on. My life made whole and brand new. I want to get lost in you. I'll put my life in your hand. I'll do your will if you help me to stand. I want to get lost in you. And God just began to feed. I mean, man, I'm telling you, by the time we got to the end of the altar call, yes. God had given me the entire song. Yes. The entire song. Jesus. And it just, I mean, it, I mean, man, the presence of God came in that place. Jesus. Man, people began to cry out. People mm. began to yield. People began to give up to God and surrender. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People began to just, I mean, it was, it was so amazing. And then there are songs that God will give me in a service. And I'll I'll sing the whole song. And at the end of the service, I cannot remember not one word of the song. See, and that's the what wow. the Lord was like saying, that won't happen no more to you because you got Facebook <laughs> now and you can replay it. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. So I want to say this to you. Um, yes. You are such an amazing human being. Um, I literally feel that I am talking to my uncle, my brother. Uh, you are just pouring out just so much positivity of the anointing of yes. God. Um, tell us, um, what's up next for you? You know, because I know it's got to be big <laughs> because just this interview is, I mean, I'm almost I'm use a word like your cousin say, I got chill bumps. You know, because I, I literally said, Lord, I, I said to him, just when you were talking, I said, Lord, will he, well, I hope he sings something for us. And right when I said that, you started singing. I said, boy, God is answering our prayers. And oh, so Jesus. I know that there's some amazing things that's getting ready to come in place. Can you share any with us? I, you know, I really thank God for for you guys, man. I really do. I'm I honest to God, I thank God. And Earl has always been a go-getter. And I've always admired it about him. Wow. He's always been an encouragement to me. You know, Melvin, you can do this. Melvin, yeah. go do this. Melvin, Melvin, Melvin. Yeah. And, <clears throat> and I'm like, I'm like, Earl, you you, you, you you know so much to be so young. <laughs> How do you do it? How do you do it? And I mean, he would call me and say, "Hey, Melvin. Hey, Uncle. Check this. Out. I mean, not Uncle. He said, "Hey, Cuz. That's what he called me. Hey, Cuz. Hey, Cuz. Listen, you need to do this. You need yeah. to call such and such. I'll get you the number. You need to make contact. You know." And and he had been such an encouragement to me. <clears throat> has been such an encouragement to me. And 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 I, I uh, when I heard his project, I was like, "Wow!" Which was produced by our cousin John. Yes. Uh, which was a phenomenal job, phenomenal job. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process, and I'm still writing. I'm still writing. I have a song that God's given me. Uh, name of it is uh, "I Hear Rain." Uh, that that's one of the songs that I want to record. I told God all the stuff that He's given me. I pray that I have an opportunity to record it. Yes. Or have an opportunity for someone else, you know, to record it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I do want to do a live project is what I want to do. That's my heart. My mm -hmm. heart is to do a live album. Yes. Uh, uh, I have enough music. I have 
over I have over two hundred songs. Wow. Uh, that haven't been touched. Mm. <laughs> not 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 what I've recorded. Uh, because I have four albums that I recorded. Right. I recorded actually five. Earl, remember the very very first one? <laughs> Which one? The Voice. No, the very first record. Remember your faith will move God. Oh God, yes, that's a good one. Your faith will move. That's a good one. You you need to re-record that one. Seriously. Oh my God, man. Yes. Yeah, your faith will you move God. You have a scarf on. You have the you have the scarf around your neck in the picture. You have a tuxedo on. I think a scarf around your neck. Yes. We had yes, the album, sir. the LP. That uh, my first LP. That's right. Uh, a brother, dear brother, uh, out of uh, Paris, California, actually. Uh, uh, financed it, and uh, and then uh, uh, yeah, oh Lord Jesus, <clears throat> heart. Let me see. F your faith to move God, lost in you. Mm -hmm. uh, the last one. Uh, let me see. Now more like Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, Heart Healer, which was the last one. Yes. That's the one that has uh, Hold Up the Light. Hold up the light, right. Uh, a Stranger They Will Not Follow. Yes. Uh, I even got a Christmas song on that album. Uh, oh, Holy Night. And uh, Introducing the Voice. So those are the, those are my five projects. But I do, and all those are studio. None of them are live. Right. So I do want to do. That's my that's my desire to do a live uh, album because I want to get all of that energy. I want to get. I want to. <clears throat> I want to take the people to the throne. Yes. Get the glory of God in. Get the presence of God in, and then just 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 give God everything I have. Just, yes. You know, just just give Him everything I have, and songs like. Uh, uh, I hear rain. Uh, my God, I got so many brothers. I'm telling you, brothers, i when I say I have songs, I have songs. Uh, God has just been feeding me, and I and I asked him, I said, Lord, now you're giving me all of this. What am I gonna do with all of this, Lord? You gotta get a you know, place, you gotta get some of place got, on the album. Oh, yes, so, yes. So, I'm just gonna ask this question Um, what will it take for you to do the live album? Uh, where do you want to record the live album? Let's put the plan into motion. You got too many contacts and too many family members that can bring it to pass right now. When do you want to record right. it? And and how do you want to do it? You are so right. You really are. You are so right, brother. You are just so on it. Uh, I'm, well, we're in this pandemic right now. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but man, as soon as we can, I mean, you know, as soon as we can come out of this thing, man, uh, which 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 I'm believing is going to happen real soon here. Mm -hmm. I really believe God is going to turn this thing around. I do too. Uh, it, it, I, I believe He's gotten the attention, yes, of mm -hmm. the church. Yes, I really do. And I think I think you know the Bible said what the enemy meant for evil, God makes good out of yes. it, right? Around. So God, so 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 yeah, the enemy designed the. To, to wipe a lot of people out with this stuff and discourage a lot of people. Right. A lot of saints have been discouraged. Right. But <clears throat> in it all, God has been glorified mm -hmm. and God is being re recognized. Yes, he is. He is. He's being re people are looking, you know, they're realizing that that things can happen in the United States. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come <laughs> you on. know, that we are not we are not vulnerable, man. Yeah. And especially since our country has has pretty much you know walked away from God, man. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you, you know. When you remove God, you know, you remove foundation. You yes, remove, sir. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying. You remove platform. Man. You remove. Yeah. You know, without Him, what do you have? If Nothing. if if in Him we live, we move, we have a, we have our being in Him. Right. What do we have outside of Him? Nothing. Nothing. We are we are empty. We are shells. We are skeletons. Yeah. You know. Uh, but I believe that God is bringing us back now. Yeah. I believe the church, the eyes of the church is opening, and the church is uh, are the ones that are designed to reach the world. Mm -hmm. So I really believe God is He has to open our eyes first. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we can so we can get back on our job, <laughs> get back to doing what we're supposed to be doing as the body of Christ and as ministers of the gospel, you know. And so <clears throat> but as soon as this thing ends, man, um I, I was thinking about 
I was thinking about the LA area and I was thinking about Dago, my home, which, which, which I would love to do it in San Diego. Uh, so, you know, that's basically, uh, you know, that would be my starting point, you know, mm-hmm. uh, setting it up in San Diego. And I know there, I know I got so much support. I know I do. Uh, again, like you said, a lot of family, a lot of friends, mm-hmm. you know, uh, choirs that I've played for and sung with and mm-hmm. pastors, you know, and I know, I, I, I know they would be, you know, very supportive of, mm-hmm. of, of me doing it there. Uh, I got you guys promoters, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, <Yeah. clears throat> and so I know that it would be, it would be a great success. So as soon as this pandemic is over, man, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm running, but I'm telling you when this thing is over, brother, I'm going to listen, I'm, I'm going to run for God. Like I've never ran. Before. Oh yes. I'm, I'm, I'm going to run. I'm telling you that they're going to have to run to keep up with me. Yes. You know, because I know time is short. I know the Lord's getting ready to return. So we got a whole lot to do in short time. Yeah. Yes. Well, Pastor, so we I, want, really... I want you to know that you definitely have our support yes. from recording to promoting to getting it placed on stations. Uh, uh, we know for the fact that the oil is definitely on your life. Yes. And we're looking so oh, uh, forward to uh, having to continue um, the relationship, the family relationship. But Thanks. I know that God has birthed so much out of you and there's so many artists that are yet to come underneath what God is getting ready to do. Right. So I personally want to say thank you for taking time out of yes. your busy schedule yes. uh, just to hang with uh, uh, us, us young, young people. Yeah. You know, Rob Roberts was you 51, right, Robert? You 55. Hey, I was going to say my age. You, you, you just take it oh. away from me, huh? Well, you said mine. I know, but the, I'm rolling <laughs> into a question. You see how you be doing? Yes. Just because you're your cousin, don't be acting up. Your cousin on there. So, 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 Pastor, praise the Lord. And I'm 55, and and and, and you in your 60s. Yeah. But God yeah. ain't finished with us yet. Oh no, He got so much oh, more no. for us. All right. And oh. I think He's bringing us together, uh, so that yeah. we can be a beacon of Purpose. hope for these Purpose. young people Purpose. that are yes. coming up, and that they can yeah. see that we can do this, and that um, we we learn how to support each other. And yes. I think that's what they're looking for now. I, I think so, yes. too. And, and John DQ, or your cousin, God has placed him in a position where he's yes. doing some strong things. I know um, you you influenced him playing. You taught him playing. And now he's yes. doing movie scores and all that kind of stuff. I believe yes. God is setting you up for now. Mm-hmm. He, he, he had to get you to Hallelujah. a certain place he wanted you to be. And Hallelujah. I believe he's going to release you. And I believe that the best is yet yes. to come. And, and I, I'm serious. You, your voice Hallelujah. sounds younger than it did before. Because mm-hmm. God Hallelujah. will sustain you. That's one thing about it. He'll sustain you for his purpose. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. <laughs> well, Yes, he will. I tell yes, you, we're excited about this. Yes. I have a song um, on deck called Hold Up the Light. Could yes. you share um, with us the background of the song and then introduce it? But before you do that, Tell people how they can connect with you, your church, and your ministry. Oh man, you can uh, <clears throat> my my email my email is m map sanders at yahoo.com. That's one way you can you can get in, get connected or get get in contact with me. M map sanders. That's I I normally just say map sanders, but it's m m a p sanders at yahoo.com. And also, you can reach me through uh, Pastor Melvin dot p i p w c at gmail dot com. Uh, the p i p w c is uh, Power and Praise Worship Center, mm-hmm. which is the name of our ministry. Uh, <clears throat> also, if you want to reach me by phone, my number is eight one seven three six eight seven eight eight six, and uh, I would invite you. Uh, if if you are you know if you, if you're looking to to to, to do some projects and do some recording um, and you need music or you need songs or whatever yes. just uh, you know if you would just 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 uh, get in contact with me and I'll be glad to uh, get with you yes. and uh, and and see how we can how we can get God's kingdom completed yes uh, and so uh, but those are the avenues you can reach me you can also reach me through Facebook. Uh, I'm not I'm not real savvy with Facebook. Right. I just know how to go on live and go off 
right. and share. Right. <laughs> but I guess you I guess you can put in Melvin Sanders Senior. Right. And then that'll bring me that should bring me up. I yeah. Believe. And you can get me that way. Also, you can get me to my to my dear cousin Earl Dean. <laughs> yes, because we got to get your music. Contact that way. So he's gonna he's gonna introduce us some. But er, Earl, now you got cousins all over. Is is Bishop Cousins cousins with uh, Bishop Sanders? Yes, Bishop Cousins is on the Wilson side, which is our cousin as well. Okay, so Bishop Jakari Cousins said good morning, Bishop. Sanders, does that sound good, Bishop Sanders? Yes, you, you spoke. Oh you spoke to his God. mom. You spoke to his mom on the phone when we was at the restaurant. <clears throat> oh, okay, yes, yes. <clears throat> Excuse me, yes, 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 yes. We could have the bishops, bishops. You know, <clears throat> praise the Lord. With that being said, will you introduce your song that <laughs> we can introduce it to the world again? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Boy, I love you guys. I tell you, yeah. man, you guys are just awesome. Uh. This song, hard, uh, uh, Hold Up the Light, I'm going to say Hard Yellow. Right. This song, Hold Up the Light, uh, God gave this song to me. I was I was uh, in the studio, in my in my recording studio, and uh, it just came to me. You know, I, I often think about how we live as believers. Mm-hmm. Uh, I often think about how God expects for us to live as believers. Mm-hmm. And the song that simply, it just simply says, hold up the light, the light that shines bright in the darkest of the night. Hold up the light that men may see our good works and glor- glor- glorify our Father. And so <clears throat> uh, I began to think, I said, Lord, you know, I said, it's amazing how, uh, how, you have, how you have entrusted us with the light. You have entrusted us uh, with, with salvation, with, with, with a relationship with your son. Uh, but uh, sometimes we don't hold the light up high, you know, we'll hold it down low depending on, you know, what we're doing or where we're, yeah. where we are, mm-hmm. uh, you know, but as for me, God, I told him, I said, I'm going to hold the light high that men may see. I want them to see you go see the good works and glorify you. And so he dropped that in my spirit, put it in my heart. Uh, I think I wrote that song in about, I think I wrote that song in about an hour, mm. I believe, about an hour. I had the whole song uh, written out, and so, <clears throat> but that's 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 how he gave it to me, and he uh, reminded me that my responsibility to him is to hold that light up and allow people to see our good works because our good works, what they see, we we I, I, I said like this, we are we are the we are the we are the only Jesus that they'll see in the flesh. Yes. Amen. Because as we walk in the light, they see our good works. They see how we, how we live and how we act and how we carry ourselves. Yes. And, and, and people remember, and I say this and then I'm done, but people remember what they see more than they remember what they hear. That's Mm. true. Amen. Come on. They They remember what they see more than what they hear. I can say something now and five minutes later, they'll be saying, what did you say? But I can do something now. And five minutes later, they'll say, well, just a few minutes ago, you, did. you were doing such and mm-hmm. such. So they remember what they see more than what they hear. And so that's why it's so important that we hold up the light of Jesus, the light of salvation. Yeah. So that people will see how real God is and how loving God is and how caring God is. And when they see that, then they'll ask questions. How did you get that? What is it about you? It's something about you that's different. Something about you that that says life can be better, you know. And so it's 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 our responsibility uh, to hold the light of Christ up so that the world will see Him through us. Amen. So hold up the light. Amen. <laughs> yes. This song right here, Robert O'Dean, I'm gonna let you pitch it because it's your cousin. Yes. And, and, wait a minute. <laughs> and, and, and my friend, praise the Lord. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. You yes, all sir. You heard it. You heard him live on. G-O-D Radio 1. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice, Mr. Melvin, Pastor Melvin Bishop. Sanders. Bishop. He ain't Bishop yet. Yeah, we're we claiming it. <laughs> what, we we, claiming we it. want God's will to be done for what he wants to I'm going to speak it as though it is. Okay, praise God. <laughs> Pastor Melvin Sanders, hold up the light. <laughs> 